Hello, we are back with another player review on the channel and icon David Beckham has been released on an SPC. It's 10 squads to complete, which is expensive, but I think it's the fourth squad is an 84 rated team to unlock his loan version. I'm going to review his loan version to see if it's worth doing the 10 squads. It will be expensive. It will be a good few hundred K to get this card in an SBC. So let's see how good he actually is. He's six foot, high, high work rates, three star skin with three star weak foot. He's a controlled acceleration type and he's right footed. And like I say, it's a loan because I think in the fourth squad out of 10, you get a loan version. So we might as well do a review on his loan version instead of us fully doing the 10 squads and he'd be an absolute pile of rubbish. Um, PG channel, I would have said the S word, but I didn't. Um, he could play right mid, centre mid, right wing. I'm playing him centre mid because that's where I think he's best. He has got decent pace, 77 acceleration, 82 sprint speed. So pretty pretty fast. Shooting though, 88 tech positioning, 86 shot, shot power, 94 long shots with 88 penalties and 81 volleys. That is a perfect kind of stats for centre mid because you will get a lot of opportunities for those long shots. Passing though, which is, we all know is his main stat. 92 vision, 95 crossing, 94 free kicks, 90 short passing, 93 long passing, and 95 curve. They are incredible. There's also some fantastic stats here for him to play right wing, um, which I might try out, but for me, I want to play him in centre mid. Dribbling as well. Agility and balance, pretty standard. He's got 90 reactions, 88 ball control, 84 dribbling, and 91 composure. Absolutely fantastic. Defending. 68 interceptions, 65 defensive awareness, 67 standing tackle, and 61 sliding tackle. This might be where centre mid lets him down a little bit because of defending, hence why I put a shadow chem style on to get a pace and defending up. I normally play with two like CDMs, so I will have a defensive midfielder and he will be my attacking kind of midfield, centre midfielder. Physical wise as well, 90 stamina, 75 strength, and 78 aggression. I look forward to using this card. I think he would be an amazing attacker midfielder. Um, but I'm gonna, yeah, like I say, I'm going to play him centre mid and see how he does there. Then I might try him out wide for a game or two and see how he does out there to see how they compare. Obviously, we all know he's a legend at Man United. He also played for Real Madrid, Galatasaray, Milan, PSG. And he scored that iconic free kick for England to send them to the Euros. So he's a pretty special guy. He's got a few play styles. He's got a finesse shot, chip shot, and obviously he's got the play style plus dead ball. Um, obviously, he's a set piece specialist, free kicks, corners, penalties. He'll be taking them all. Passing wide, he's got whipped, long ball, and incisive pass. And then finally, physical wise, he has got relentless machines. He won't run out of stamina. So I look forward to using him. He's in my kind of review kind of team that I use to review with quite a lot of players. Um, we'll get into a few games, and hopefully, he'll be fantastic. <laughs> So, Icon David Beckham is a very, very good card. Two games, three goals, and he got a few assists of the assist. I played him in three positions, centre mid, right wing, and I played him in centre attacking mid when I changed him during the game. And I'll tell you what, that was a very good position to play him. I feel centre mid, he's very good, but with his high 
defensive high attacking work rate he does attacking wise he does struggle to kind of keep up with play when it goes attacking wise he likes to hang back whereas when you play in right wing and he says stay forward he does stay up there or attacking midfielder he likes to stay around that attacking midfielder area if you put stay forward so on that basis i think if you play him center mid don't expect him to get in many attacking positions because his high defensive work rates he likes to stay back but his passing back there is fantastic. He's got amazing range of passing, whether it's lofted over the top, um, tick attack of football, all those through balls to your strikers, like Kai Lewandowski winning a throw on goal, and he was fantastic. His set plays are very good. He had no free kicks with me, which is unfortunate, but his corners are fantastic. They find the head of your attacker every time, um, and you will score a few goals via that. Um, he's got fantastic long shots and shot power. He's got an absolute screamer for me for miles out, which we'll see in the clips before. Um, and just an overall great player, he's got great stamina, he runs all game. Um, is he worth the 10 squads? I don't know. Um, it depends if you're going to use him or not, because it's quite an expensive SPC. I think looking at Footbin, it is around, should have a quick look, it will take me 30 seconds. Looking at Footbin, to do the SPC, it's nearly 400k, which is a lot for this card. I think you can get better players out there for 400k, i.e. the Luka Modric road to the knockouts. I think he is better than this Beckham. So it all depends on if you want Beckham in team or not. If you're a Beckham fan, if you want just want an icon, then do it. But if not, I think there are better options out there like the road to the knockout, Luka Modric, which I've done a review on in my previous video. Go and check that out. It's a very good review. Um, so that being said, leave a like, subscribe, and more reviews will be on the way.